this video we will take a look at how we can override CSS file. We will disable the aggregation of the CSS and JavaScript files. We will locate what we want to override and we will override our CSS file in our InfoYAML file where we can either swap it with uh, a CSS or JavaScript file from our current team or we can just remove it if we don't need it. So let's jump to our Drupal instance and let's first disable the uh, CSS and JavaScript files aggregation from configuration and performance. So we just disable the aggregation. That's perfect. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go right click and view page source let's start with uh, an example how to remove a file so we see that we have plenty of css files now as they're not aggregated and we see that there is a file called uh, table drag uh, that is just for uh, drag and drop tables. So let's go ahead and remove it from our team as our team is just responsible for the front end. If we, and if we don't have table drag on our front end, we basically don't need this CSS file. So let's go ahead and uh, copy the name of the CSS file and let's first go to our team we basically have here a skeleton of a super simple team uh, and in the info file we have our uh, team uh, declared with name description type and core and base team uh, as our team is extending the bartic team so what we want to do is we want to type here uh, libraries over uh, over right and uh, we want to specify a library that we want to override but first we would have to find the library uh, I know that this uh, CSS file that we want to override is part of I guess it's part of system so let's go ahead and search in the core directory for the table drag dot module dot CSS and it finds for us the library CML file from uh, the system uh, library so basically what we have to do here is so here we see that it's part coming from the system dot library dot YAML and here we would have to type system as part of the namespace and then we see that the library is called base so slash base and then we would have to say uh, it's basically CSS so uh, from here on we're just following the structure that is here already so we just say CSS as it is there and component component that's perfect and uh, for our uh, table drag dot module dot CSS basically uh, we want to override this one in our team uh, but the path that is here in the view source is a bit better because there would have to use uh, full paths so basically we can copy it from here it's a bit uh, easier for us to keep the structure and let's go ahead and paste it and we can basically say uh, just false 
if we want to disable it our team is enabled in in this drupal instance i will quickly show you that under appearance the drupal web team is enabled and let's go ahead and clear the cache and see if the table drag css file would be removed so let's clear all caches and if we go back to the front page and if we view the page source and if we search for table drag we see that now it's missing that's because we just uh, removed it in our info file so let's go ahead and uh, show an example how we can basically swap the CSS file instead of uh, removing it let's say for our template we need it a bit different so let's uh, check again for a victim let's see all the CSS files uh, I see something here sticky header module this is just for the sticky header if it's supposed to stick at the top let's go ahead and check where the sticky header is uh, it's it's again in the system it's again in the system so basically we can continue writing here uh, as a new entry from here if it was another library we were supposed to type this beneath one more time and follow the same structure but since the uh, CSS file that we want to overwrite is under the same module we basically continue writing there so let's go ahead and uh, paste it here let's go ahead and copy the file that we want to override and let's uh, go to our team and create a new file and it would be called sticky header new and this will be in the CSS folder that's perfect and let's quickly copy the content of the sticky header CSS file just paste it here and copy the content uh, because we don't want to delete it we just want to extend it and in order to be quite visible what we're extending let's just make all the uh, all the texts red color red just we're adding this CSS rule here and uh, basically in order to use this CSS file uh, so we're swapping this file and we're saying with what are we swapping it so we basically say we want to swap it with the CSS file that comes from Teams custom Drupal up CSS sticky header new module that's the file that we just created so let's go ahead and uh, clear the cache one more time and see if the one CSS file is missing and if all the texts on our web page are read texts are read that means that it worked so let's just go ahead and search yes as we see the uh, sticky header new module CSS is loaded from our Drupal instance and let's remove the new and let's search if the other one is still on the page as we see it's not on the page which is exactly what we wanted to achieve 
so that's perfect if you like this video please check the links in the description uh, subscribe and if you have any questions uh, ask them in the comments below thanks for watching